I'm showing you the JAMA six-way switcher controller prototype I have here. Uh, the idea of it is to get rid of the requirement to use this remote control that comes with this and instead allow you to use uh, control panels, uh, buttons, um, either an additional one that you add or uh, reusing your start buttons. Um, pretty much the board here has a remote control receiver on it. This gets removed and um, in its place will be uh, the controller will, will go into it. Um, on this right now, it's, with it being a prototype, it's all hand wired and everything, but uh, um, in the near future, I'll have a board laid out that'll uh, go in there basically replacing this module with something similar looking. Um, as I said, you can increment, decrement through the up and down the ports. You can have it so you can um, press both start buttons. Um, you can press and hold start buttons, press and hold, uh, you know, any button. You can set the, basically the hold duration of it. Um, in this, on this thing here, I've got it wired up to the test bench. Um, I have it wired up to the start buttons on the uh, jam harness, so that way uh, my start buttons on my test bench uh, control this. Uh, you, like I said, you can have it pretty much control any um, from any button you'd like. I mean, you can add a new one. You can uh, reuse existing ones on the control panel. You can reuse, you know, connect it up right up to the JAMA Edge connector, um, as I did here. So uh, the other thing you can do is it'll start up on a port, unlike the original, where you had to take the remote and press it to start up at any, you know, whatever port you'd like to go to. Um, it started up previously with, with no port selected. This will select a port by default. Um, you can select which port it is uh, by default, but of course the original one is just port one. Um, you can also uh, skip empty ports. So if you have only three, four, five ports being used here, you can skip the ports that are no longer um, in use or not being used at all. So um, anyway, let me show you. As I said, it starts up at port 1 by default. You can skip through the ports just with the increment button. You can also decrement back through the ports. Like I said, you can program it to be both uh, start buttons to uh, go to the next port. So um, you can see no longer pressing one button is anything. You have to press both. Um, you can also set the hold duration, which is done by just pressing these buttons during program um, for however long you'd like to hold it. So if you want to hold the start buttons for one second, uh, basically you program it with holding the buttons for one second. So you can see now it doesn't switch anymore by being shortly, but if you hold it, it does. You can also do the same thing for single button. no longer pressing it for a short duration does anything. I'll set it back to short duration one button for easy use, um, just to show off the rest of the stuff here. Um, like I said, you can also set the programmable uh, startup port. So if you'd like it to start on port four, you go to port four. And then uh, you press the program button to set the startup port. And then you go through the rest of the ports and either enable or disable them by either clicking it, and if you'd like to disable it, you press and hold the button. So that's disable port two. So here we're on port two. If I click and hold the button, it skips the port. So now you'll see through the different ports, and it just skipped port two. So we're on four decrement 3, and now we're up to 1. So you see it keeps skipping port 2. And as I said, you set the startup port, so when I turn it off, when it comes back up, the default startup port is port 4. So um, if you know you screw up something or uh, you just want to get back to the initial settings, easy enough to uh, go back to the factory result, reset, um, just press and hold the uh, program button, turn it on, and it goes back to the initial um, first port, um, just the instant button press, 
um, and then you can go back through all the programming settings and get everything back to how you like it. So, anyway, uh, as I said, this is a, just a prototype. I'll have um, something hopefully uh, made shortly that that'll just go in and replace you know this this board here uh, with something similar, um, easy to install, all that stuff. Uh, but for now, I just wanted to you know, just maybe get a little bit of feedback and uh, show what I have uh, going on. So anyway, hope you enjoy.